Every year, the Blavatnik Family Foundation, in conjunction with the New York Academy of Sciences, honors young scientists in three fields, chemistry, physical sciences, and engineering or life sciences. This year, Chinese scientists swept the Regional Chemistry Division that covers New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, taking the top prize as well as two finalist positions. Brooke Grindlinger of the New York Academy of Sciences, which judges and administers the awards, says it's purely coincidence, but not a surprise. In recent years, we have seen increased investment on the part of the Chinese government in the quality of higher education in China, as well as increased recognition of the importance of strategic investment in scientific research that is going to best meet the needs of the country. Today, we're seeing the outcomes of that investment. Highest honors went to Ning Jia, a research associate at New York City's Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. She was recognized for her work on CRISPR-Cas, an emerging technology that enables gene editing and promises breakthroughs in the treatment and prevention of diseases like cancer. The top prize is $30,000, while the runner-ups each get $10,000 making the Blavatnik Awards the largest unrestricted prizes for early career scientists. The intention is to spur future innovation. Yi Fei Zhang, nominated by Columbia University, was honored for his research on using biomolecules as catalysts to speed up chemical reactions for chemical synthesis. He's currently a professor at the Beijing Advanced Innovation Center for Soft Matter Science and Engineering. So I would like to contribute to the development of the next generation of biomanufacturing, which sure, uh, I think, bring us a more sustainable and healthier future. Nominated by Cornell University, Shan Wang Mao was also honored for his groundbreaking work on optical imaging of non-fluorescent processes. Mao says it could have broad implications, many that are good for the environment. So my imaging technique will allow me to design new and more efficient particles to purify water. So that's one of the applications we demonstrated. At a time when the world faces many challenges, Grindlinger says more scientific collaboration, not less, is needed. The free flow of scientists, ideas, and knowledge across borders is so critical to driving global innovation. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.